Hey wonderful junker friends, it is Sonya with Junk Monkey Paint Company and how many times can you say the word junk because I got some junk. Jingle, jingle, jangle. Oh, the sound of some good junk. Somebody else's junk is my treasure. All right, I'm gonna show you what I got at Goodwill. I'm gonna take you browsing with me. I'll let you know what's going through my mind as I'm browsing and let's see if we think the very same things. I'll catch up with you at the end and I will show you my haul. What's that? Right here? Yeah. You want me to buy you that vacuum cleaner? You sure? Well, that was fun. I I don't know. I just don't think I ever not have fun going to a thrift store, a junk store. And yeah, I'm that person. I'm going to ask you guys today as well. Would you rather, if you had the option to say, you know, babe says to you, hey, I'm going to drop you off at the mall. You can go shopping and you can browse. Or there is this big, gigantic, I don't know, antique mall filled with vendors and lots of junk, like a, a junk style store. Which would you pick? Mall? junk store. Hands down for me, it would be definitely the junk store. I love it when I get up to the end of the register and I say to people, did you find some good junk today? And I'm telling you, from one junker to another, if you've never done that to another person in the same store as you, oh yeah, they're just as excited as you. Try that the next time. I did pick up that end stand, that nightstand that you just saw here in the video. And I also collected a few good pieces off the shelves as well. What about you? I usually start, when I go to a junk store, I like beeline it to like a thrift store, like a Goodwill or a Salvation Army, that sort of style store. I always beeline it to the furniture section first, and then I make my way around the shelves. Do you guys like shop it in any particular order? I always enjoy the book section too. All right, so this was the very first piece that I took home with me for $3.99. It is basically, I guess this is what, is this the Eiffel Tower? It kind of looks like that, like a tower style, Paris style decor. I thought this would be beautiful. And yes, I am going to paint everything that you're seeing in my bag today. Can't wait to do this project with you guys. I might bling it out. We'll see what we do. But I thought that was super cool. So piece number one, what do you think? Yay or nay for you? 
All right, don't judge me, but yes, I got more candlesticks because I love painting candlesticks. You can never have enough candlesticks. So these are going to be made over this week as well. I cannot positively wait. I'm not sure what color I'm going to do them in. It just depends on what room I'm going to put them in. But yeah, this part is like got the, you know, the metal, the tin, whatever it's made out of. I don't know. All I know is I got two of them for $2.99. So $1.50 a candlestick. I love combining even a mismatched candlesticks. But if you ever need candlesticks, do not pay full price to them. Just go be patient. Find a thrift store. Go there. And I guarantee you. I don't know, do you know anybody that doesn't have a pair of candlesticks at their house? Yeah, at some point or time, they will be donating them, chances are. So when you go there, it's like there's always candlesticks. Yay or nay, what do you think of these? Would you have picked them up? Yeah, this is like a layering piece. Your, your eye loves it when you decorate spaces. So let's say, for example, I painted these two candlesticks. This would be something that maybe I could put underneath it, all right? Use it as a centerpiece or a layering piece on a shelf. Let's see, what did I pay for this piece? $1.99. And it's just like a heavy, heavy, again, metal of some sort. Um, tray it's gonna be perfect to dry brush to be able to use like whether it's in the center of a table or like I say even something like this would be perfect in your bathroom roll up some towels and just kind of do something really cute with it put your soap um, dispenser on there anything you want your toothbrush holder okay that didn't work out all right and the last but not least piece that I got at Goodwill on this trip that you just saw me take was this little piece here and it's just an ornamental little piece. You know, it's probably just made with resin. In my mind, I never care what it's made out of. I just look at the shape and go, do I like the style? Would that fit into my decor that I'm currently decorating with? And I just thought it was perfect. And yes, I will dry brush it and uh, just jazz it up a little bit because it's got, I think I saw some chips on here somewhere, but honestly, yeah, like there's some chips right there. Can you, I don't know if you can see it or not, but um, you know, I will go ahead and I'll paint and dry brush this piece and it'll be beautiful. I love it. So for this piece, I paid all of $1.99. Love it. So let's see, $1.99, $1.99, and $3.99. I am calling that a win-win. Stay tuned this week because we will be making over these projects together, finding more junk, of course, and then putting it in place to be able to decorate our home on a budget. And that is what I live for. Thanks guys for subscribing to another daily vlog. Thank you for being along on the journey with me. If you have not already subscribed, I would love it if you would take a moment to do so. Give me a big thumbs up and talk to me below. I'll join you in the comments shortly. Have a great one. Go find some good junk out there, will ya? Please.